Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carl and Bella's Rocks Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. Prepare for trouble. Let's begin the episode. See, because you were wearing the rocket shirt. <laughs> Make it double! Yeah. Oh, I see, I see what you're trying to set up there, and I just... As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. You know what? Just do it. <laughs> That's what my shirt says. <laughs> <laughs> Let's spin the wheel of energy. Let's just do it. Three, two, one! Alright, what is today's type advantage going to be? Finally, be, be, fireball, be, be. finally, fireball, fire! Oh, it's eyeball, eyeball everyone's favorite energy type, eyeball energy. Let's go ahead and bruck into today's uh, box, and while we do that, I'll tell you that today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Fletchinder, Ben's least favorite Pokemon ever, Mankey, probably the best art in the whole set, and Quaxley, a starter. A starter. It's yeah. a starter. Yeah, it's a starter. You could have chosen it, but like, Pua Coco was right there. So, uh, so Fletchinder evolves into Talonflame. That's correct. Talonflame is a, is really the worst. <laughs> That's the one that kind of gets me. Like, just it, it grates my gills. I so think it's speak. something of a crowd favorite. So I love that you hate it. Talonflame is a crowd favorite. People like the Talonflame, man. Why? Also, I forgot to change the skateboards. I think we got to go to the good old Espeon here. I just feel like I had two bits of alarming news delivered to me all at once. First is the skateboards thing, and second is the talon flame thing. Are people into talon flame? Did I not realize this? This is the next thing I know. Cucumbers are going to be like the new avocados, and I'm just going to be No one's doing cucumber toast, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, it's so watery. Ugh. Just mm -hmm. miserable. Anyway, yeah. I'm gonna go first. All right, it's today, uh, let's see. Today we are finally into pack three. So we're getting final scores for everybody, which is exciting because we can really start to hone in on the Big Steve Award. The Quality Eighth Place the Award. Quality Eighth Place Award. Uh, last place, and of course, uh, first and most important, first. Yeah, first and most important first. Carly yeah. is currently in a commanding lead with 92 points overall. Carly, I believe, is the one who had her eight times multiplier. That is correct. Yeah. The, the first and only eight times multiplier, and it is paying off big, but Mooney Man is there in second place at 40 points. There are still plenty of, we have not pulled a single Iono full art all season, nor have we pulled the Magikarp. And boy, oh boy, am I excited to finally do it in today's box. I it? say that every week, but it never happens. Who but knows? but like you know, you have to call it every time because then when it happens, you're like, we totally I called, called it. We called it. No one over, no one remembers the times we didn't call it. Exactly. 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 All right. So first up today is Beck Squad, the hated rival of Becky Borst. Do you think it's because of the Becks? I think it's because of the Becks. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, Beck Squad here has five points on the season, soon to be like 112 based on this Iono she's right. gonna pull. Let's see. There we go. So we got the the raucous pummeling energy, which I think would have behooved you last week. But not, mm, this week. not this week. The Wingle, the Pineco, the Tinka Tink, -tink, -tink the Maggie, score. that's a two pointer. That is. Why, no. is the, why does the Tinka Tink score? Oh, Tink shoot, no, I'm sorry. Fireball energy. I literally was like, literally, this would have oh. worked for free <laughs> last week. I was like, Mankey and the. No, but no. anyway, sorry, sorry. The Tinka Tink counts because, yeah, as will the Miss May, just, man, I'm just off my game. The Bramble Gax, the Toxic Croak will not because it's Rockus Bubbling. The. Oh, oh the, the G, the G U. U, the Illustrator art. That is a beautiful card. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness, man. I played against someone running 
mean, she, you, I could not have been more shocked when they flipped it over because I don't think anyone's played it at all. Is it and a goldfish? It is a goldfish. Yeah, it's like a legendary goldfish. It's super cool looking Pokemon. Um, I did win the game, but it was I uh, did play against. I them. like Jealousy Singe. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's, that's a great attack. Okay. <laughs> oh, and the Rabska is actually worth two points, despite being my least favorite Pokemon, maybe ever. Oh my gosh, look at that! So all of our favorite, our least favorite Pokemon coming out in today's episode a little bit. So let's check out that Chi real quick. Number two fifty nine on the set. Look at this. We've got the beautiful Tinkatink, one of the new best Pokemon ever. The best artwork in the set. This is amazing. That's terrible, and you know, mid. 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 Okay. It's mid. Okay. So um, yeah, that Chi. You is going to be a, a real heavy hit. Wow. I would argue possibly one of the higher value cards we had all season uh, at $20.82. Wow. So that's $21 21. or 21 points. Uh, so 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 points. 26 oh my gosh. points. Back squad coming out swinging today. That is going to put them at 31 points on the season. It's not going to put them into first, but it will put them into fourth, which potentially could be a great spot to fall into eighth place as the rest of the season unfolds here. Yeah, poor poor uh, Becky Boris right now. Is that I know. Really, really, like, really wow. rooting against it, and then it just, it, you know, the you know? back squad just pulled through. So, very impressive showing. Amazing card headed your way. Yeah, what a start. What a start. It feels like a good box. And you know what? We've already got an epic fish. Why not pull two and Why not box? two? Why not two? We'll call the episode Epic Fish Day. Oh my gosh, that would be a great title. If it's called Epic Fish Day, you know what happens. Or do you? Maybe we use that anyway, and now we're saying this to throw you off the scent. A total misdirect. All it right. smells like epic fish. It does. <laughs> smells like epic fish. That was my band's name in high school. Nailed uh, it. Next up is Kitten Ninja, who's actually coming in today with 26 points, so unbelievably might be able to pass Beck Squad with even just a medium pack. Yeah, very impressive. Currently, in, coming into the day, was oh, in six points overall. and they've pulled the type advantage, so they are rolling. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Okay, here we go. The Shrewdle, the Glimmet, the Brambler, and the Shinx, the Azumarill not taking advantage just yet. The, the Mankey does score. No critical hit, the Calamorous Wasteland, and oh, oh my the Bullard Skeledurge! Whoa! Oh my what gosh. What an opening two solid fire Pokemon on the first two packs. Let's see, number 233 on the set, although this one is not going to be worth quite no. as much. $2.98. What? Very little rounding ability. So, so three, three, four, four times, times two, two is eight. eight. Wow, that even with the type advantage doesn't get there. So that is going to be actually still enough to bring them to 32 points on the season. And and uh, does that push? No, wait, I might have done the math wrong there. It's okay. 26 plus 8 is 34. 34. So yeah, 34. Uh, that does actually immediately push Beck Squad down to 5th. So right away they are getting what they want. I know. So again, yeah, Becky Boris is just like, what is going like, on I with know. this what, day? What is happening first, here? First, Beck Squad has a great pull, and then immediately gets pushed a point down do towards we even, closer to eight points. Do place. we even see Becky Boris on the? Let's see. Let's see. Where, where is she? Where is Becky Boris? Wow. Oh, and fifty nine. Fifty nine. Oh, with oh, just, just eight, eight points. points. Oh, all right. Oh, man. Well, good luck, Becky. Yeah. I don't yeah, know yeah. if you're in today's episode, but if you are, we've talked about you a lot already. There you anyway, go. next up is. Uh, uh, Earth, or say, oh, this is Sailor Earth. Sailor Earth. We'll it feels like just yesterday we were we were pulling a pack for old Sailor Earth. It does. They've, they've gone from like the the third round to the first round on this month. All right. So they've got eight points on the season down there with Becky Borst. So far we're batting a thousand on uh, like full art cards. So I know. Let's just yeah. let's just what keep it <laughs> keep it going. Maybe we got like a God Box. Oh my gosh! Can you even imagine? We those do it? those exist in Japan. They have God Boxes. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, I I could only dream of, of I know. opening That'd one. That'd be amazing. All right. So we got the sneeze. The Gothita will score, the Mastiff, the Wingle, the Tower, ah, the Tower Ring, <laughs> Heracross, Kilowattril, the Dunsparce will not score, the Grafii will not score, and the Hydra. So just two, two points, points there. He's going to bring the to 10 on the season. Final score for Sailor Earth. There so, we go. Uh, well done, well done. Not a bad show. Not quite enough to get you into Big Steve, but there is always next time. All right, Ben. Ever just the absolute crowd favorite. It's EK Sko. Oh, oh and now this okay. is an important pack because if you will recall, EK Sko currently in dead last place. If they can pull a single one point card uh, pack out of this one, that puts them in an amazing spot. Oh, Jeez. actually, actually, EK Sko is facing down with um, Oh, you're right, Sammy. Sammy. Sammy has 13 cents yes. on two packs. EK Sko has 14 cents on two packs, both two points overall. So let's see how they do here. We have the water energy. 
The Sprigatito. So we want no Nothing. psychic Pokemon. That is gonna be a tall order. I feel like this is a good spot though, because we've already pulled two great cards. So it right. feels like if there was gonna be like a lull, you know, it doesn't seem like. Okay, oh, the so Fletch Ender is a point. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, that could oh the Aronger oh, is a point. Oh no! And the Raichu, the Satanel, and the, the Hariyama. There we go. Oh. It's a three point back for Ike Sko. Sammy, Ben's probable sister in law, is just cheering in her seat right now. Goodness gracious. That is going to be three for Ike Sko. Going to bring them to five on the season. Skyrocketing up the leaderboard. Really unfortunate finish there for Ike Sko. Yeah, wow. that's not what you want to see. And on the Fletch Ender. I, I mean, insult to injury. My heart goes out to you. I know. It truly does. Because wow. nothing could possibly be more disappointing than pulling that card. Wow. Sorry about Especially that. Especially under these specific circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, well, in other know. circumstances, it may have been Yeah, fine. it might have been good to get that extra point or something. All right, next up we have Jeremy, who has seven points on the season. All right, let's, let's see. Here. Jeremy is one of those names that I always go to uh, the movie Wedding Crashers. Yeah. Because I believe Vince Vaughn's character's name is Jeremy. Oh. And I think, I think... Is it Isla Fisher who's in that one? But yeah. at one point in time, she's like, Jeremy! And anyway, so every time we say Jeremy, that's what I think of. That's, so, just so you know. Good story. Uh, Type uh, advantage! <laughs> good story. Keep moving. Yeah. Deli Bird, uh, the Super Rod, the Love Disc, the Snover, the Crocolore. Man, oh, nothing man. going on no here. The the but with the, the Fletch Ender, Ender again. Though. See better circumstances. Uh, the Falooza will score. Uh, the Sprigatito oh. will not. And um, the Obama Snow. No. Wow, so just going to be a three times two is No, six. wait, hang on. Oh. So one, two, uh, no, I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah, one, two, three. You're right. Times two yeah, is six. Two is yeah. Six, that's gonna bring them to 13 points on the season. It's 14 we're looking to for Big Steve though, right? Let me double check, but I believe that you are correct. Where is Big Steve on the leaderboard? He has 13 points, so we're looking, we currently ah. have a tie for 14. Wow, so a moment. tie with Big Steve, unfortunate. So close, so, so close. close. If only you'd pulled another Fletchinder. If only. Actually, then you would've gotten two points because of the type advantage. So it wouldn't have helped anyway, Never mind. All right, next up is Omega, a former season champion. I want to say, yeah, former season. Back in season two, it looks like, I believe possibly. season two, yeah, our second season yeah. ever, which was really our first season in a way. Right. The first official season. Right, yeah, we are um, through, the, yeah, through the beta season, season yeah. one there. Let's see how Omega can do in, uh, got a metal energy there. Nimble, Moschip, Slack Off, Whooper. The Iono's worth two. The Knackle Stack, the Calamitous Snowy Mountain, the Tropius, the Pupitar, and Le Wigglytuff. So just a three No, uh, four, because one Two, three, four, oh, you're right. type advantage. Yep. You're right. Type advantage gets the four, so it's going to bring them to 10 on the season for Omega. Not quite enough for the big Steve spot, but solid effort. We look forward to seeing you next season. <coughs> All right, Ben, you are now opening up for Shauna. Shauna! All right, Shauna. We can do this. Shauna, who has this. got uh, 16 points thus far. <clears throat> on two eight-point packs. Okay, okay, so honestly, <clears throat> good strong showings. We've got the Rockus Pummeling Energy, okay. we always love to see those. Uh, the Pinecoe, the Merrill, the Mankey will score, the Deli Bird, the Azumarill, the Vespaquin, the Ice Q. What a water pack. It really is, water and, and, and grass. grass. What's yeah. going on? Uh, we've got the Nimble, which will not score, the Glimmit, which will not score, and, and the, the Spirit Tomb, which is two points. Which is two points, so. uh, and great if you're running against Mew. That's right. Yes, you got yes, it. Yeah, I nailed it. Oh, man. You know what? Uh, Big Steve himself won a League Cup this past weekend running Mew, so people were not playing enough Spiritomb. Apparently. Apparently fun. they're not watching the show. They're not watching my, the show. Tips. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, not that it matters. We obviously want Steve to win. We so, do. We do. 60. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's going to bring uh, Shauna to 19 points on the season with your um, Mew crushing Spiritomb. There we go. All right, next up is going to be Abby, who All has right. got three points on the season. So, I mean, I suppose there's a, ch no, it doesn't even seem likely that if they land at four that they're competing for last place. Yeah, it's, there. there's a bit of, um, We I think we have a good handful of people at this point in time. Uh, now EKSCO is out of the running, but it's, uh, one, two, three, four, five people currently have two packs and two points. Okay. So, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Five more people have the opportunity to single point it here. Exactly. Let's see how Abby's going to do. Got the Rookie D, the Pikachu, the Slack Off. You know what, there's just not a lot of Psychic Pokemon in this set, is what I'm Apparently noticing. not. Is the Look Palmot, how much the Palmot does score, right? The Palmot does score, as does the Hydreigon. So no double hits, right? No critical hit. Nothing right? else there. Yeah, a very uh, electrical. 
pack. Yeah, that one. Like, it was, yeah, lecture. that's interesting. Yeah, and normal. Yeah. Right? One, so the two. last pack was uh, what grass and water, and this yep. one was electric and normal. So that's that's sort of an interesting yeah, spread. Plus one dark card. No, two, two dark, dark cards. Yeah. 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 What is, what's going on there? I don't know. Um, so actually, no, they pulled a two point pack. Um, so it's going to be five points total for Abby. Solid season. There you go. Has a five week old and a five year old, and five points to go with them. Nice. Although that was as of uh, October of third. Last so year. So last year. Yeah, so. So they're a little bit older now. Right. But, you know, it sounded good with all the fives. The five-week-old must be coming up on, or it literally could be as of recording, the five-week-old's birthday. Oh, I guess you're right. Wow, wow you're right. Happy That's birthday! Great. Happy birthday! Oh, my gosh. Enjoy there that you pack. Go. A six. No, not five-year-old. A one-year-old. I can math so hard today. Next up is Lacey. Lacey. What's Lacey got coming into the Lacey day? Lacey has got five on the day. Okay, so, so starting where nine points. Abby you, left off. Nine points would get you into big Steve <coughs> contention. So we're looking for nine. All right, let's see here. So we got the Fletching. Is that does this evolve? This evolves into yeah Fletchinder. You got to be kidding me. Yeah, Fletch it starts normal, then goes fire. Hmm, that's just boring. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got the the Voltorb, the Clavel. Uh, the Tropius, the Vigoroth, the, the Arongru will scores. score, the Electrode, the Passibian will not score, the Pineco will not score. Oh, oh the, the Mascarada! But that's a first page It is a first EX, page if I ever saw yeah, one. Yeah, it sure is. It might be the most valuable on the first page, which makes me believe we actually pulled it before the season. $2.11, so decent so three, rounding. So four points totals for nine on the season. Sadly, we were looking for nine, but we landed at nine. Yeah, so either which way, though, that is a cool full art card that will be headed your way. And and again, yep. as a reminder, because I know that we've received this question in the past, how does it work? Um, if you sign up as a Box Breakers patron, you will receive these cards in the mail. You're not, we're not just opening them on your behalf for the sake of scoring. You actually get the cards themselves. Exactly. Um, so a link to sign up at patreon.com slash supercarlingaming is also in the description of today's video. Right, and then if you finish the entire season on uh, last place, Big Steve, or eighth place, you get an uh, Elite Trainer box from the set. And if you're in first place, you get a full booster box of your own. Amazing, amazing. Stuff. Um, next up, next. Ben. Oh boy, here we go. It's Emily Stock, one of the mods. So let's see if the curse of the mods continues. We've been joking in office that we should just have some sort of side mod competition. Just the first one to get to 100 points ever. Just, um, well, we expect to award it sometime in like 2030. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. We're thinking yeah. yeah, so we'll it's, it's a long road. It's a long road. Know. Emily's got six points on the season. So let's see uh, how she does here. Uh, we've got the Pikachu, the q the Krogon, the Rookity, the Corvusquire, the Artisan, the Tauros, no points so far at all, the Bombardier, and the Gyarados. Oh, the Curse of the Mods continues! Just one, one point. point! Come on, Emily! Oh my gosh, poor thing. <laughs> poor thing. Poor thing, there um, you go. Either way, Seven way. points on the season. I do love this Gyarados card for what it's worth. Yeah, so it is a very good You cool do have one. that going for you at the yes, very least. Awesome. Thank you for <laughs> your support either way and for all you do in the Discord and on the live chats and stuff like that. Anyway, next up is Mooney Man. Now this is a pack to watch out for because if they, they have the gr the least amount of ground to cover to get to first place. Yes, although it is worth saying they would have to double their points, which are currently at 40, Yeah. Uh, and then some. So Carly has 92 points with two packs. Mooney Man has 40 with two yeah, packs. Yeah, they're looking for a 52 point pack, a 53 point pack at least. Worth noting, no one else the whole season has 53 points total. Yes, so, so this is gonna have to be a, a real bomb diggity this is, Yeah, but, which is possible though, like, if, if it's a full art Iono or the, the Magikarp, like, we're there. That we're there. will do it. That will do it. It is possible. Right. Or another eight times multiplier. Right. Things, anything could happen. Although, we, it can't Bad happen. starts. Yeah, bad starts. We've got the Super Rod, the Love Disc, the Snover, the Fletchling. Oh, the board, Iono. That's you know, not a bad omen. Now, man, if they pulled the other Iono, too, would it count as a critical hit? If it has the exact same... I think if it has the exact same like card cards, text? Yeah, card text, then it would. Well, that the would Knackle be wild. <laughs> the Calamitous Snowy Mountain, the Relor will not score. The, the Practice, Practice Studio, Studio will not score. And no, the it's Dice just Calibur. a Backscalibur, unfortunately. It's a three-point pack, 50 points away from first. Oh, you hate to see it. As close as anyone's been all season mm -hmm. to taking down Carly, mm -hmm. who really miraculously, with that eight times multiplier, I'm pretty sure that was on like 10 points. Yeah. So it was like, <laughs> Like, Carly, the pack wasn't that crazy. It wasn't that crazy, but it, it accumulated to a lot. So Carly anyway. has been living by the lack of the big chase card hit all season. 
which just tell like, what are the odds on pulling these cards? I know, yes, it's, it's <clears> so <throat> true. So who do we have up next here? Because it looks like a possible contender. Oh, it's Brylev. Okay, They've got um, a total of eight points so far. Okay, eight season. points so far. Okay. So they they are in Big Steve area if they can land a six point pack here. A six point pack would be absolutely perfect for Brylev. That's what they want to see. Yes. However, uh, Arch Nemesis uh, Dylan Clark Dylan is just. Clark. They don't want to see it at all. They don't want to see it at no, all. Not, not, not one, one bit. bit. Here we go. The Fuecoco, the Bramblin, the Qfont, the Crocolor. The Grafii, the Titan, the Pseudo Wudo, the Magnum. Oh, the oh. Skeleturge! So I I don't think, even though it's full art, I don't think we're gonna get to those six points, sadly. Yeah. Although look at this, you have a full line to get there. You have the Fuicoca, the Crocolore, and the Skeleturge in one pack. That's so fun. You wanna know what's nice about this? They're all fire types. Yeah, they're all fire you types. You know, it's like like you know, I, you know, they're not just dumb looking birds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like we already had those. We got them. We already had those. Okay, uh, number 37 on the set, the Skeleturge, is just bulky X. It's gonna be 91 cents. Just round it to a single a point. Single point to just oh, one point. No. So, so it's gonna bring them to nine on the season. I will say that if you look on Skeleturge, it devolves into like a big like crocodile looking thing. Uh, it does have a bird on its nose. So it's Skeleturge is like, oh, your your whole thing is that you're a firebird. That's just an extension of me. It's just an extension. It's like yeah, not yeah. even a whole extra Pokemon. I just have that. Okay, that's it's just me. Just Take fun. that talent flame. All right. Next up is John Smith. Of Jamestown fame. Wow. Pretty sure. And got 13 points on the season. So a single point here. Oh, you're right. John Smith wants a single point pack. I know. Here. That last pack would have been perfect for John Smith. If so only. We'll see. We haven't seen a whole lot of eyeball energies coming out of the. Coming out. Okay. So Bam. All right. So that's a good start. Okay. We want no psychic Pokemon, which has been less of than I thought. Yeah. So far. The Phalanx. Oh, there's the Puff, though. Oh, so there's two yeah, points. So we're pretty two. much out. The Larvitar, the Garganackle, and the Oh my gosh, Sableye. the Jigglypuff really like just... I know, you were there, you had it, if not for the Puff. Oh, I was playing spoiler today, gonna bring you to 15 on the season. Wow, solid effort there to get to the Big Steve Award, but not gonna cut it. Walking a tightrope, walking a tightrope. Next up is Blue Swede. Not, not suede. Not to be confused with suede. I know, this is one of those. <laughs> Where it said it said blue blue Swede the whole time and then clearly uh, Ethan and Kat were trying to correct us and they were like not the band uh, I'm not sure well actually I don't know blue Swede not the band but you know never mind this is a whole bad explanation just cut that cut it okay all right all right so we got a metal energy right off the top there so that's not doing anything really interesting for us five points on the season which means we're looking for nine possibly again yep, yep. uh so we got the dun sparse the hop hip the whooper the noibat the grafai eye the pink urchin the zwilus the tarantula will not score the frigibax will not score in oh, the Corio. just a single point why couldn't that have been the last pack my goodness, so it's gonna be six on the season for Blue Swede, the rival of Dalton Green, the battle of the colors. Do you mean to tell me, does the Oricorio evolve into something? No. The Oricorio's thing is that there are like, I think four different kinds of it. So there's like a fire type, a psychic type, and okay. some other types. Okay, yeah. so it's not just another kind it's of generic looking another. bird fire type. <laughs> yeah, no. They're, I think they're supposed to look like, uh, I think they're all um, themed around uh, like, Hawaiian dancers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And they all look a little bit different. More interesting than anything Talonflame slash Fletchinder have to bring to the table. Right? That's what I'm saying. Next up is Smubbles! Smubbles! Who has 20 points on the season. That's putting them at 13. So, uh, if I am not mistaken, Beck Squad is kind of hoping this is a good pack so they can get pumped down to 8. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Right, but well, at the same rate, uh, Smubbles could be looking at 8th place themselves. Absolutely. So yeah. there's a lot of things that could absolutely go down at the moment. Yes, all right. Oh, also worth noting that Smubbles coaches water polo. What? Wow, that's cool. That sounds like a very exciting Oh, here sport. we okay. go. All, all right. right. This is what Becky wanted to see. We have the Krogunk, the Satoddle, the Shrudel, the Phalanx, the Faulkner, Dunsparce, the Cerule Edge is going to be double points. Oh, and the Quaxley. No, no it's the wrong, wrong one. Quaxley. Sorry about that. Oh, oh what? what is happening? It's a four times multiplier. Oh, my God. On. Okay, this is a weird one. Okay, okay, so each of these is rare and gets a point for being the type advantage. So they're yeah, each so worth two points, right? Yeah, so four points total yes. times, times two, two is eight, times two is 16. Wow! Whoa! Amazing, a 16 point pack on the double Cerule Edge. You never see it. That is amazing. Good. So 
That is gonna land them at like what twenty that's gonna be uh twenty eight thirty six points. Which how did that how does that do for Beck Squad? They landed at thirty one, so yet again yep. Beck Squad moves down to sixth place. Goodness gracious. Wow, it's happening. It is happening. What a wild play. Oh Look my at gosh, that. That's amazing. Oh, four times multiplier. One of my favorite things. Yes. It's all oh, oh, the mechanics are coming into play just oh. how we hoped they would. Oh boy, Ben. Oh boy. I gotta tell you. Next up if you wanna know what pack's gonna to be a total dud. Total dud? It's this one because it's another mod pack. This you know, is Dakota. You know what? I'm gonna set this one aside. Wow. Oh! And I'm gonna pull this one instead. Oh, you're doing it! And then my next pack that I open will be this one. Wow. And what we will discover is whether or not I have shaken things up for Dakota one way or another. Or whether Dakota's moddiness has, has effect, you know, forced this to happen. All right, okay, so we have changed packs. Oh, wow. A last minute change. Here we go. Dakota has five points on the season. Go figure. And has, at best, scored 12. Okay. All right, Dakota. Even on season four, just seven, wow. That's the high season. That was the, yeah. Which is surprising, because that was the single pack single season. Single pack, yeah. All right, so we've got the, the teardrop energies so right away, no, nothing. No bonus. <laughs> the Krogunk, the Satoddle, the Shrudel, the, the Jigglypuff, the Battle Score, the yeah, Taurus, at least two the Skiplum, the Dendra, the Grusha will not score. The I Love Disc will not score. And oh, it's a Cloud Sire! It's full But you know, I gotta tell you, it, it wouldn't surprise me if it's just still only like two points. It feels, it feels it's not the worst. $2.43, so it'll round up to yep. three. So four points. Four there points. All right, so, so now nine gonna, points on the season. I'm writing down the four, so that's what <laughs> this pack now needs to beat in okay. order for me to have played. Well, at the very least, Dakota pulled a. a a nice card. A nice card. Yeah. A nice card. So good for her. I'm sure that she will enjoy it just so very much. Let's see here. We'll stack these up. Dakota, headed your way. I did my best. There you go. I did, or maybe I didn't. Maybe, maybe I did. Maybe you could have done everything. better. Yeah, yeah, we'll find out if Ben did his best. All right, next up is Marcos, who's coming into the season with just four points. What are you, a mod? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Marcos. <laughs> That was rude. <laughs> At some point in time, it's gonna be like, join our game, we troll you. <laughs> get, get roasted by the Carlin brothers. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're not gonna be that. Uh, Giraffereg, Tropius, Great Ball, Hopib, Delivery Drone, Frigoraph, Spydops, Voltsorb, Sit oh no, and the Tyranitar, wow. Really kind of a dud pack there as well. That is going to be just a single point for a total of five on the season for Marcos. All right, who gets Dakota's original pack? All right, let's see. Coming up for, wouldn't it be funny if this was another mod? It would it's be. It's not. It's uh, Annika. Annika, okay, Annika. Annika like Harmonica, who is coming in with 12 points on back-to-back uh, -back six point packs. All right, all right, back-to-back -back six point packs. Let's see what goes down here. So they're just looking for really like a two point pack though. So maybe you've done them a favor. Possibly, possibly. Let's see, all right. So we got the, the, lightning, the energy. lightning energy, the Voltorb, the Clavel. The Dunsparce, the Noibat, the Paldean Tauros, the Practice Studio, the Florigato, the Fighting Ole will not score. Oh, oh no! no! Look at that Tropius! Goodness that gracious! That is lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Followed and by the, the Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff. All right, so let's see. Did we beat four? I feel like we did. Let's see, number 195 in Dakota. I am possibly sorry about how things went down. $3.80. So, so for five points. Five points, okay. So okay. you cost them one point. Cost her one point in the process. Yep. Oh He's gonna my bring gosh. it to 17 on the season for Annika, but they do get that awesome Tropius card. Very cool Tropius card. It is sort of amazing that they were both full art cards. That is true, I, I, yeah, I, they both were. Yeah, so it worked out. I mean, it's not, it's not as bad as it could have gone. That's right. But goodness gracious, I can't have, Dakota would have had word me if we had pulled the card for <laughs> That had been the card. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so funny. Next up is Stefan and Susie. They love CrossFit and Pokemon. Pokemon! They are um, up on four points. They've been managed to each together scrape one point per pack for a total of two per pack. Okay. Let's okay. see if they can uh, really surge forward here. We got the Fireball Energy. We got the Puff! So it's at least two more points. There we go. The Tadball, the Giraffery, Great Ball, Corviknight, Saviper, the Tauros, the Zwilus, the Sandy Gas will score, and the Tinkaton will be worth uh, two points because of the type advantage. So that is going... One, two, three, four. Four points. Look at that. You guys have doubled your score. Eight points on the season for Stefan and Susie. There you go. Thanks for playing. Enjoy. Go Enjoy. do some, Go do like a burpee per point there. Oh, there you go. Good challenge. Good challenge. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm looking out for you guys. All right. Next up is Blue Malamute. Blue Malamute. 
who is coming in with five on the season. Let's see how they finish out here. Bunch of fives today, because I feel like that nine number for the Big Steve Award has, yeah. been, has been a topic of discussion. So we're about to see if it's possible. The Combi, the Glimit, the Frigibax, the Tandem Mouse, the Mouse Hold, the Satitan, the Corvin Knight, the Krogunk will not score, the Palmy will not score, and the, the Weavile, Weavile. Wow. just a single Unfortunately, point. Unfortunately, uh, Blue Malamute has been watching their point total fall from three to two to one for a total of six on the season. Man. There you go. All right. Well, so better luck. Just, you, you really hate when you start the season at three and it's all downhill from there. <laughs> it is a rough, that's a rough <laughs> season for you. But you know what? There's always next time. There's always next time. It is, it is that time of the year because like football starting up again, I think this weekend. And it's like, this is our year. This is our year. This is it. Yeah. Everything's going to be different now. Things changed in the off season. We'll just claim it right now. The Virginia Tech Hokies, which is our team. Yes. This is their year. This is it. Everybody be sure to tune in. Watch the magic happen. Right. Surely this will age amazingly well. This Saturday night game in Blacksburg. It's gonna be one wonderful. Next up is uh, Kevin. They have 10 points on the season, starting off with the Dark Teardrop Energy, the Makuhita, the Pine Kirchen, there, oh, the Elusive, the Elusive Alt Carp, the Simeon, the Reversal, the Therapeutic, oh, no! oh, the Critical Carp! Oh, dude, what would happen? No, I don't think it can happen, right? It could happen. It could? Yeah. Not, Although it would have been this It card. would have been oh. this card, yeah. Now that would have been wild. That would uh, have Lux been Ray. wild. So that's just there. So it is a critical hit on the carp. It feels like a good omen if you ask me, but it just does. on one point. So it's only two points, which is crazy. Yeah, that would have been wild if, if there had been three of the same card in I a know. pack. We don't have anything for that. We haven't, we haven't think, accounted I for it. I guess that would be four times on its own, right? Because it would be twice. Two times, two times, yeah. Yeah. Boy, does that mean there's like a, there's like a 16 out there? That's wild. That would be uh, unreal. That is 12 points. Oh, so close. So close. Man, we were just watching people circle the drain today. Oh, uh, yeah. It's so crazy that Big Steve often picks this like random point that seems like it's right in the middle, but it's hard to land right in front of him. It is. Next up is Brick Frog coming in with four points. All right, Brick Frog. Let's see it. So they're looking for a 10 point pack here. Reminds me of like Crazy Frog, like just after like kind of calm yeah. down a little bit. Right, brick it becomes frog. Brick Frog. Yeah. Like, like I got all that out of me. Ooh, Ooh, okay. Got the eyeball energy. So much multiplication happening today. Wrong Quaxley. The wrong Quaxley. So the Char Cadet, the Relor, the Quaxwell, the Delivery Drone, the Fergaraf, the Knackley will not score. The Paldean Taurus will not score. And the Gyarados is the will. single. So two points Gosh. because of the two times multiplier. Look at that. We went from Critical Carp right into Gyarados. We did. Right? It's like, like, if that's not like the evolution set that you're like expecting, it's like compound the Carps, get a Gyarados. Did I write it down? Yeah, okay, so six points on the season for Brick Frog. There you go. Two, two, two. That's At least two consistent. Point, two point packs back to back to back. Ethan, play that lovely animation that I'm sure you made. <laughs> Speaking of which, next up we've got uh, Kogo Crystals, who is coming in with um, back to back five point packs for a 10 on the season so far. They love reading games and working on running their own book. Do they love scoring points in box breakers? We're about to find We're out. We're about to find out indeed. We've got the Relore. We've got the correct the Black correct. Slate. Finally! Tinkatink will score. Pinkurchin, Luxio, Mabostiff, Pupitar, Reversal Energy, and the, the Mimikyu. Mimikyu. So that's going to be two, three, four points. There for a total of 14! <gasps> oh, that's exactly the number we're looking for for Coco Crystals! Oh my gosh, so I think, I believe that that means that Coco Crystals is now the only person with three packs and, and 14, 14 points. points. Yep. Okay, so if no, if no one else lands there, Coco Crystals is presently winning the Big Steve Award. Very impressive, wow. so hang on to that, hang on to your hat and everything else. There you so go. We'll see what happens. And then, uh, yeah, that Mimikyu, that's probably low value, you'd think, um, so that could help your your case. Uh, next up is Shadow Loop, Shadow who has Loop. seven points on the day. Now, if anything would not surprise me, this is, this is a seven point pack because, you know, we've been going all day. Suddenly, you know, when the when the dam breaks, it's you know, it starts flooding. It starts flooding. All right, so we got the Rockus Pummeling Energy, we got the Sprigatito, the Magnemite, the Knackley, the Nimble, the Dunsparce, the Pupitar, the Faulkner, the Super Rod will not score, the Jigglypuff will, will score, score, and, and the, the Palmot. So just a two point pack, actually, not seven points. He's gonna bring them to nine on the season for Shadow Loop. There you go, good season. 
Better luck next time. There we go. Okay, next up we got Chase. 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 Who I want to say is, I don't think the mod curse extends to Chase. It is the son of a mod. That's true. That's son true. of a mod. So, <laughs> it sounds like a swear. It sounds like an exclamatory. It does. It does. I feel like I've I've recently discovered that in uh, fantasy novels they frequently come up with like a like a play on on like oh my gosh yeah like oh my gods or, God's body sim yeah that's the name of the wind that's the name we of love the wind it. yeah you know we do love it here, here all right let's see Chase uh, he's got six on the season there's the slow poke. The Litleo, the Rockruff, the Palmy, the Choice Belt, the Palm Mo, oh. Tinker Tough scores, Wingold does not. Oh! oh! Tinker Tough! And is this the same one? It's, it's not. not. Wow, so no critical hit, unfortunately, but still probably valuable, and it is. Uh, Got eyeball the extra energy. point yep. for being an eyeball energy, and then a slacking will score as well. Right, so, so, wow. That's Almost. a fun, 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 fun card. Number 217. Not bad either. $9.14. Wow. So, so 10, 10 11, 11, 12, 13. Uh, well, so sorry. So 10, oh, 11. You're right. You're right. 12, 13, 14. 14 points. Yeah, obviously the mod curse does not extend to family members. Obviously, goes without saying. There so we Chase, go. congratulations! To Twenty points on the season. Be sure to have a be sure to have a word with your mom about pulling some better cards. Yeah, yeah. Tell her what's up. Give her some techniques, some pointers. Yeah, there we go. Congratulations we go. on that really cool Tinka Tough. That's awesome. All right, let's see. Next up, we have got. Oh well, you know what? They come in pairs. This is uh, Chase's mom. Doe. Doe. A mod, if you couldn't do the math. Uh, I can only suspect one thing. <laughs> I'll be mean, like, you're not gonna have two back to back. <laughs> not gonna have two back to back packs, although we started that way. We did start that with way. With the Chi Yu and the yeah. so let's see. Doe comes in with six points on the season. Can she pull some magic? We're gonna find out. Bam, grass salad energy. No got surprise the, oh, yeah, the, the magic carp. Okay, the good. The slowpoke will score. The slowpoke scores. Not the Lilio, the Flamigo, the Bombardier, the Skip Loom, the Choice Belt, the Combi, and the Belly Bowl! The X. So let's see how that does. It looks like, not not first page, but Belly Bolt's gonna be 71 cents. 71 cents. So it's gonna be a 1.2 point pack there for uh, uh no. So hey, a full <laughs> art and actually the worst performance of the of the season. Yeah, there you uh, go. Eight total, though. Eight so, total. You know, I mean, it's we don't want to say. Yeah, there's, the curse hasn't been broken. It's okay. It's, so it's at least your say. son knows what he's doing. Exactly. Right. Exactly. At least the household has been improved. That's by right. It's polls. still coming to your house. Exactly. There you go. Exciting. Next up is Andy. To me. Now, oh, you. Andy. It looks like they are competing for last place here. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Let's get. Can we roll down to the bottom of the leaderboard there? Let's it looks like it. they have 15 cents. Okay. Yep. So Andy is currently oh, okay. uh, one of the contenders. So Ek Sko is out. Who had 14 cents. Sammy still has 13 cents. So Andy is not in the most prime position, but pretty close. Let's see. Okay. That's what they wanted. Okay. Here we go. We want no chase cards. No psychic. That will put Andy in a really strong spot to try and win last place for Jabax. Hand to mouse, the total spot so up's so looking good. good. So far, so good. Oh, very good. The Crocolore is no good. The Corvus Squire is no good. And oh no, it's a rare psychic card. That's gonna give you two points. No. Ah! Let's look up the value just to be doubly sure, uh, just in case it comes to it, because I feel like it possibly, it possibly could. It possibly could. We'll see the Cerule Edge here. Let's see, number 98 cents. Is, so that alone is worth 15 cents, the Cerule okay. Edge is. So uh, matches the season total. So four points on the season. Four that, points on the season, 30 cents total. Okay, okay, there total, we go. total rare card value. Okay, so something to keep an eye on. I, I feel like you can't completely rule it out, but that yeah. does feel like it, it might hurt your chances ah, It a is bit. a bummer, you got that one extra point on the final card. Wow, you know they were, I mean, they're still, it's still possible. You could win with four, um, but you need everyone else to fail as much as you did. Uh, next up is Stacy. Stacy, seventeen points. Oh, okay, so impressive showing so far this season. Uh, decent shot, I would suppose, at quality eighth place, which. At the current moment, at least, things have changed today, but Emerald Phoenix had it with 23 points. So, okay, so yeah, it's possible. Kind of, kind of hard to tell until we get further into season to see who the quality eighth place finisher will be. But so we got the Dark Teardrop, uh, the Shinx, the Rookity, the Pikachu, the Slack Off, the Saviper, the Pyroar, the Luxio, the Bramblin will not score, the Pikachu will, will not, not score, score, and the, the Tyranitar. Just for one, I'm gonna bring them to 18 on the season, so no eighth place, unfortunately, for Stacy. 
But we'll see you next time. There we go. Indeed. All right, next up we have Elizabeth. They've got four points on the season. Likes to sew quilts. There we go. There we go. Love a good quilt. I know, Love right? a good quilt. Don't we all? No one's upset when you give them a quilt. I'll tell you what. Bam. Ooh. Okay. Coming okay, out. Guns swinging. Energy. Let's see. Let's see the carp. Let's see oh, the, the carp. Oh, the sandy gas. You sandy see it? Sandy gas scores. That's good. The tarantula. The charky dead. The bravery charm. Gotharita. Those Gotharita scores. Honchkro. The Luxray will score. The Gyarados, the Gyarados, will, Gyarados score. will score. And the, the Orthworm Orthworm. will score. Wow. So, so five so. scoring cards. Wow. Five scoring cards and that. So it's a ten point pack. Ten it's not point. bad. No. So fourteen points. Oh wow. How about Whoa. that? Whoa. Way and to put. And the total rare card value on this should be fairly low overall. Well, there's it, three rare cards, though. There are three rare cards, but it's, you know, jumping up to 10 points versus, like, anybody who pulled, like, a single card that was worth, like, 9 or 10. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, I know like, what you mean. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they had 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, so these three together even probably aren't that much. No, probably not. Probably yeah. Not. Okay. All right, well, there so, we go. Elizabeth is another now hot another contender big for that Steve big contender. Steve. contender. All so right. Now we, have, now we have two people with three packs and 14 points. And the big Steve contenders, as a reminder, want the low card value, whereas for the eighth place, you want the high card. Exactly. Because yeah. basically, it's like who was in last place in front of big Steve is the person most directly above in front big of him. Steve. Yeah. Right. Whereas if you had a tie for eighth, you'd want to be the person right in eight. Exactly. The people would rather be nine. Uh, next up is Haley and Colin, who have 14 points already on the season, and there's no way to score negative points this season. No more blasted V-Star markers. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. So Good riddance to that. Otherwise, they could have they could have aimed for a zero-point pack, but they can't this time. They're going to get at least one point. Uh, so they're hoping for a big one, I guess, to get up there. The tink-a-tink. -tink. -tink -tink there it is. The therapeutic energy, the choice belt, the pommel, the low Pink kicks will score. And the Giacomo oh, score. More. Oh, yep. That oh. And the Ting Lu. The Giacomo does not score. Ting Lu does. Let's check the value on that. Number 127 on the set. I'm thinking it looks like a single point EX, it, but... Oh, well, just a little bit more. $1.46. Okay, so two, so two points. points. So yep. four total on the pack there. Going to bring them to 18 on the season. I'm going to be using my last uh, sleeve here my on my side of the desk. Going to have to grab another pack. Indeed. There we go. So congratulations on that guy there. And uh, how many points on the end of the season? Uh, 18. 18 on the end of the season. So not a, not a bad showing, about 15th, 16th overall. So right. very impressive. All right, next up, though, we have Blood Vamp, rival of Adriana, who has 17 points on the season. So they could be looking at a good uh, eighth place finish here. If they oh, have absolutely. It, if things land their way. Let's see how they finish out here. They've had a four point pack and a 13 point pack. Metal energy, so no type advantage, but doesn't mean we can't get like a critical hit or something. The Eno, the Dendra, the Palosan, the Raichu, the Great Ball, the Hopip. Oh, and the oh, Fortress! Oh. That's fun. Okay, Fortress EX. Uh, there was like rumors of competitive viability for this card, so that could be worth more than like one. Yeah, well, so it, it has great rounding at one dollar one cent. That's ninety. That's the best rounding possible. That is, yeah. So an extra ninety nine cents there available. But still, for you. just two points total. So it's going to bring you to nineteen on the season, just one point ahead of our last contender. All right, Fortress, headed your way. Bam. Your way. Enjoy Blood Vamp. Thanks for playing this season. Oh, next up, we've got Johnny. Johnny. Johnny, who has got six points on the season on back-to-back -back three point packs. Oh, this is our casino pit boss, Johnny. There we go, there we go. Can they hit it big? Can they hit it big? We're about to find out. Oh, look at this, though. Oh, not, not a bad starting omen. Out. Not a bad starting omen. out solid. Got the Watch Roll, the Fue Coco, the Bramblin, the Kufant, the Luminous Energy, the Bombardier, the Flamigo, the Knackle Stack will not score, the Sneasel will not score, and the uh, Low, low kicks. kicks. Oh, no, just two points for Johnny coming in Man. at eight on the season. Oh, you know, when you see that type advantage, you get such high hopes. I know, it's like, like, it's like, just because it's on the table, it's like, okay, okay. It's like there's something, something could come from this. Something big it could be on the way, but not this time. Oh, speaking of big things, we got Big Jake up next. Big Jake! Photographer who does AV work for his church. Love it, love it. All right, they've got 10 points on the season, so maybe looking for a four-point pack themselves. Got the Fireball Energy, the Merker, the Mischievous. That's good for a four-point pack. Sneasel, Meryl, Grusha, the Primate, the Pyroar will not score, the Hydrajon will, and the Veluza. So, oh, so close. It's a three-point three pack. pack. Man, that's going to bring them to a tie with Big Steve at 13 points. Not quite enough to qualify for the award, I'm but afraid. You know what, Big Jake? You can at least take solace in the fact that for Team Big, 
You guys landed exactly in the right spot. You guys we clearly did. brought the strategy, you played it as well together as humanly possible, mm -hmm. and Big Steve and Big Jake landed in the same spot. That's true, that's so weird. Yeah, how yeah. unusual. What are the odds? Big Steve and Big Jake is Big 13. All right, next up is Matthias, who has six points on the season. Looking to see if uh, they can become Big Matthias. Right, yeah, they're looking for, well, they, want, they probably want four, what are we, I can't even do the math all of a sudden. Nine. So eight points. Eight points? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There it is. You want eight points. Let's see the Shrudel, the Glimmet, the Bramblin, the Shinx, the Tinkatuff will score, the Bravery Charm, the Gotharita will score, score, the Sogoro will not score, the Superior Energy Retrieval will not, and, and the Glamora. And the Glamora. So just three points for Matthias as well. It's going to bring them to nine on the season. Oh boy, man, we're coming down to our final couple of packs for the day. No, I'm excited to see though. Maybe, someone maybe. who's going to get the epic fish. The epic fish. It's got to happen. We started with it. Can we end with I it? Know. We're about to find out. All right, here we go. <sighs> That'd be epic, like epic fish sandwich. Yes, that would be so cool. <laughs> it's Bubsy who has five points on the season. <laughs> epic fish sandwich sounds still kind of like you can smell it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure you can. All right, there's the dark teardrop energy. Oh, the sand gas will score. Go. The tarantula, or the tarantula, the mischievous, the gothatel. There's a lot of psychic in this one. The, the Q-Font, the giraffe rig, and oh, oh, the annihilate, the full art annihilate. That's it's an a, awesome it's a looking beauty card. Beauty of a card, yeah. Let's really see. good. Number two forty-two on the set. Let's see, three dollars seventy-nine cents. So that'll be up to four. four. Five, six, seven points on the pack. Best pack they pulled all season, at the very least. So it's 11 points, to or 12 points to close out the season. 12 on the season. Solid way to go. Not Got the Annihilate coming your way. Very that that cool. really is a cool looking card. I like the cotton candy vibes it gives off. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, sorry, sorry, let me try again. It's giving cotton candy. Wow. Mm-hmm. I think you did it right. Did I do it? Okay. I think so. I love it, I love there it. There you go. All right, Ben, the question is, can our final contestant of the day, Dragon, pull off the epic fish sandwich? All right, we're about to see. We're all hoping so. We've been dying to see the carp. All right. Let's see, this is there. They're coming in with seven on the season for Dragon. They work for a space agency. Can they epic splash into space? All right, let's see. We got the fireball, the nimble. The Moschiff, the Slack Off, the Wooper, the Haunch Crow, the Pseudo Wudo, the Grusha, the Tyranitar will score, the Luminous Energy will not, oh, and the, the Jump Plot. I'm afraid not. It's just going to be a two point pack for Dragon there for a nine on the season. Goodness gracious. Man, another <laughs> box, another missed hit. I feel like at this point, the at this point in time, or the Iono. <laughs> They're just setting us up for a, a huge finale. Right, we have two boxes left. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Or we're will it. Now. Or three boxes left. Three boxes left, yes. Also, guys, uh, we are currently now into the month of September, which is really exciting news because it means that if you sign up for Box Breakers between now and the end of the month of September, then you will have a pack during the coveted 151 51. season. Mm -hmm. These packs of cards, I do believe, are gonna have great value attached to them. It is the original 151 Pokemon, so from Bulbasaur through Mew. Yep. I personally, so like, Jay is a, probably like the bigger collector in everything of these packs. I have already ordered lots of packs for myself. Like, yeah, I am so excited. Like, <laughs> That's for, awesome. I've been looking forward to it. So, Jay told me, I've been asking for this forever. You, you were asking for them to make this before it, like, it was even in the works. You were yeah. like, why don't they just make another set with just the original 150? Yeah. And actually, fun fact, the reason is because they weren't allowed to print Kadabra cards, but now they are again. Now they are, yeah. There's a yeah. whole big backstory to it. Which whole is big. Absolutely fascinating. Um, but yeah, so the month of October will be a one-month season like we did yes. for Crown Zenith yes. earlier this year. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a great set to be in on, so all you have to do is sign up for our Box Breakers tier sometime between now and the end of September, and you will be locked in for one of those positions. Again, it's patreon.com slash superharlingaming. Link in the description down below. Otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!